What up, YouTubers and retro players? Welcome back to Dennis Fleeman's YouTube channel. It's that time of year again. It's Christmas. Well, almost then. And it's also time for another Hunting a Thrift Store slash Kringle Winkles video, part 15. And because it's the most wonderful time of the year, I'm gonna start this episode with some Christmas stuff. If you're hunting in thrift stores just like me, there's no way around it. You couldn't have missed it. Christmas stuff in the thrift stores. It's everywhere. Christmas trees, Christmas DVDs, Christmas CDs, Christmas pillows, Christmas balls, Christmas candles, Christmas snow globes, Christmas I could go on forever, baby. And the thrift stores are selling it. They're selling all the Christmas related stuff. It sells like hotcakes. They are making a fortune right now. And all the stuff that you see right here, I'm, I'm not even exaggerating. They sold half their stuff in the first week. It's just borderline insane. The thrift store is a gold mine right now. The thrift stores are selling Christmas items to people that want to decorate their house into the Christmas spirit, but don't have a lot of money to spend. Another trend that I noticed in the thrift stores is that there are a lot of scalpers, resellers and hipsters looking for old vintage Christmas stuff. Apparently there's a lot of money to be made if you're buying and reselling old vintage 80s, 70s and early 90s Christmas decorations. Who would have thought? Let's take a look around in this thrift store. Hmm, Christmas books. These Christmas books right here make me feel very nostalgic. They show you how to make your own Christmas cards and Christmas decoration out of paper and other household items. Alright, that's enough Christmas for now. Let's start the hunt for video games. The first games I encountered were PlayStation 2 games. And of course there were some FIFA games present here. FIFA 2005, FIFA 2007, some racing games here, SingStar R&B, well that's something else, but not really my cup of tea. Desert Storm, should have picked this game up, don't know if it is any good, but it looked interesting. Vendetta, Ghost Recon, another FIFA game, a racing game, this one looks kind of interesting. Should have picked that one up for Erg, your Euro Retro Gamer, I think he might have liked that. Um, Medal of Honor, a lost Xbox game here, hmm, Splinter Cell, that's cool. Uh, let's see what else we can find. Xbox 360, PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1 games. And for some reason a lot of horse games for the PlayStation 2. Don't be fooled retro players, some of these horse games are quite valuable and sought after because of their low print numbers. The PlayStation 1 games, Lauzeleven, Barbie, Rage Racer, V Rally, and Croc. They're only 1 euro a piece. I already own all of them, but 1 euro for Croc is a very good deal. That's a great platformer. And some HD DVDs here. Who remembers those? <laughs> This PlayStation 2 set right here is kind of interesting. It's way overpriced though, 40 euros for a PlayStation 2. That's just, no, that's too much. But the titles are interesting. They have Donald Duck, The Power Duck, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Ratchet the Gladiator, Ratchet and Clank, Crash, and a Lego game. So I was interested in it, but not for that price. I mean, 20 euros, maybe. Later on they moved it around in the store and now it's sitting over here and that Lego game is really 
really interesting to me. Would love to play that, but once again, not for that price. Would you pick up this PlayStation 2 set for 40 euros in the thrift store? Let me know in the comments. Am I a cheap bastard? Yes or no? Random PlayStation 2 Sims 2 Pets game in the DVD section. Why not? Final Fantasy 7. Sadly, it's not the PlayStation 1 game, it's a DVD. Final Fantasy 7 Advanced Children, the one disc version DVD. Well, I actually never heard of this DVD, so I had to look it up. And apparently this movie is connected to the Final Fantasy 7 game. The movie takes place two years after you beaten the game. And there is something uh, of a disease going around and there are two orphan children. It's, it's not really my thing to be honest. But hey, uh, more power to you if you like this DVD. Let's check out the comic section. Sadly, there are no Pauling & Co. or Kuifje slash Tintin comics here, but they do have an interesting Spy vs. Spy comic. When I hear the name Spy vs. Spy or when I see some Spy vs. Spy related stuff, the first thing that comes to my mind is the Nintendo NES game. And here's a power tip, if you like that game, there is a Spy vs. Spy 2 for the NES. It's an unreleased prototype, but there are some ROMs and reproductions floating around. So check that out if you are a fan. Duivels Driehoek. I think they're referring to the Bermuda Triangle in this game. And by the way, this game is pretty damn messed up. Ah. I can take this one for free, but I think it's incomplete, it's ripped, it's torn, but it's interesting to see, never saw this game in my life before, seems like a fun little game, but once again, look at it, no, no, we're just gonna leave this one in the store, let's move on to another thrift store guys, and in this thrift store, I discovered my favorite board game this year, for only 50 cents. Here it is, a Turtles board game. A Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles board game. It's Pizza Pet Spots, boom! Only 50 cents? Damn right I'm picking this one up. Look at that board game. Look at the art, the, the box art. It's just amazing. Expect a full review in 2019 of this board game, guys. Sometimes I see things that are just very nice to look at in the thrift store. Take this DuckTales item for example. I'm not picking this up, I'm not buying it. I, I, if, even if I bought it, what should I do with it? But it's just nice to look at it. It's really an, an, a relic from the past. And it's, I just wanted to show you guys this. this it's just, I find this very compelling and interesting to look at. A relic of the past, but I'm, I'm not picking up. Great, great item. Love the artwork. What do we have here? Zombie Survival the board game. Hmm, 
I thought this was a Christmas special instead of a Halloween special, but all right. Interesting, very interesting. Looks to me like this is some kind of Cluedo ripoff, but could be wrong here. That's it for this Christmas special guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we're signing off with a special item. Me for